Well, starting off making some videos for my intro to stats class. This is first one of a sequence. It's about section 1.1. And 1.1 is about the basic building blocks of statistics and what statistics really is. So here it says, uh, statistics is about using information collected from individuals, usually called a sample, to draw conclusions about a larger group called the population. Sometimes this is called uh, inferential statistics, drawing inference about the population uh, based on a sample. In the process, we might be talking about statistics. Uh, statistics is something computed from the sample maybe like the sample mean and the parameter is computed from the population the population is the group you want to know about so the population is something that you get to decide as a researcher. Who are the folks or what are the objects you care about finding out about? And then you're gonna take a sample from that group, do some computations, get yourself a statistic, and use that to estimate something about the population. In the process, you might be using what's called descriptive statistics that describe the features of the sample. So if I was going to use this class to just estimate the average cost of attending CSU Pueblo, I would say for the sample, the sample would be uh, this class. The popu population would be uh, CSU Pueblo students. that I want to know about. How much does it cost for all the students, not just this class? The parameter is the average cost of attendance. And the statistic I'm going to compute would be maybe the average cost uh, for this class. Okay, so that's uh, the basic definitions for beginning in a stats class, sample, population, parameter, statistic. You might notice uh, parameter starts with the same letter as population. Statistic starts with the same letter as sample. So the statistic is about the sample and the parameter is about the population. The sample is that small group of individuals that you get to uh, measure, and the population is a larger group of individuals that you want to know about. All right. And then over here is just the basic steps for carrying out some kind of research project. Identify your question and statistical method. So sometimes people don't do that. They just go, I'll just go collect some information, and then I, I'll figure out what I want to do with it later. You're better off not doing that. So identify your question and figure out what method you're going to use. So otherwise, you're going to have data. You may not be able to do anything with it because you haven't decided how you're going to analyze it. Once you know how you're going to analyze it and what your question is, you can go ahead and collect the data. Now what happens then is sometimes that data is not amenable to your method. You expected something to happen. Something else happened. Uh, the data you got, the way it, it showed up, didn't lend itself to the method you were using, you have to choose a different method. So you check your data, check the data can be used. So maybe the people you sent out to collect the information didn't collect it the way you thought and you have to do something else, send it back out in the field to go collect it a different way. 
or maybe it's good. If it's good, you go ahead and analyze it. You already chose your method, so we use the method to analyze it. And then at the end of the day, after you perform the analysis, state the results, usually in the context of the problem. And then what are the limitations of the results? So typically, if we were trying to say, figure out how much it costs to go to CSU Pueblo, you'd say, based on my analysis, the average cost of going to CSU Pueblo is around $25,000. I'm just picking a number at random. But it's based on a sample. And so I only know that's true to within about $8,000. So the real answer is plus or minus $8,000 with $25,000. So I've got an average value from my class, but of course that's clearly not the average for the whole school. And based on a small sample, there's a limitation about how much accuracy I can think that sample can give us. And so I'll, I'll state those limitations. All right, so I filled my first screen on the way to making a bunch of videos for a stat class. We will just see what this looks like. And maybe I should have to do it over again. Hopefully everything came out. This is new stuff. I have a new audio equipment, uh, somewhat new camera equipment, and using learning glass here. So it's kind of cool. But uh, the prep time hopefully is uh, paying off in the presentation. We'll find out in a minute. And I'll be back making more videos shortly. So if you're with me in the class, and this is the one I'm using, welcome to uh, Math 156 at CSU Pueblo.